This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will news report today, May 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back to a very active solar disk, at least Earth facing. We've had what looks like four M flares thus far today and a C9.9. .9. We started the day out with this larger flare here. It's a M4.2 solar flare. And it happened right around 2 UTC time. That was followed up by this M1.7 at 400 UTC time. That was followed by this 9.9 .9 at 10 UTC time. Followed up by this M2.5 at 1300 UTC time. Again, followed by this M one solar flare at 1600 UTC time. Been maintaining a very high baseline as well. All of the, well, first four flares, including the C9.9, .9, came out of Sunspot AR3679. And the last M1 flare came out of a very simple new Sunspot 3689. All right, looking at spaceweatherlive.com, we see we're running a C2.36 baseline currently. The maximum flare was the first flare of the day, the M4.23, that occurred right at 200 UTC time. And what we see here is all of the first large flares, the M4.1, the M1.7, the C9, and the M2.5 all came from AR3679, an extremely complex beta, delta, gamma sunspot group. Now, the last M1 came out of a brand new named sunspot group, AR3689. That was right around 1600 UTC time. Currently, we have a 60% chance of M flares, which is shot up incredibly, and only a 10% chance of an X flare. Let's take a look at those sunspots and see what we're dealing with. Over to HMI Intensigram, we're looking at 3679 over on the limb. Remember, Lots of plasma is shooting towards the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter. And, well, that's been responsible for four of the large flares or larger flares today. We all know our actual geomagnetic connection is attached to this outgoing limb. So those very well might be geoeffective towards Earth the energy can actually flow down our geomagnetic connection to Earth and hit Earth. So we're going to have to see about that. Uh, what's interesting is, is these very complex looking sunspots, central disk 3685 and 3686 have done absolutely nothing. Whereas 3689 that's just been named does not look very complex is the new sunspot group that just produced the M1 flare. Over to go, solar ultraviolet imager here at 195 angstroms. This is going to be our M1 flare. Now, there is other activity happening right in front of our eyes. Right here, Earth-facing, one of these sunspots is so complex. Looks like it flared, but it's just not registering. That would be around the same time. We might have to hurry up and wait to see how that registers. 
Looks like it happens just before the M1. Taking a look at Lasco C3, we've had numerous eruptions today, only it was covering the largest ones. We can see all of the plasma leaving our solar disk here. And, well, it's not worth lining up each blast, but that last blast there at about 1300 was the M2.5. And that came out of 3679. And that is a lot of plasma, an extremely strong CME. And that would be Earth effective. Most probably it's on that far limb where our geomagnetic connection is. Headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We're looking right there at the M2.5 that occurred right around 13. 1500. This lasted one hour in M class territory. Unbelievable. And we should see the M1 coming up. It's going to be at 1600. See if we can see it here. I guess that was it. Not a very powerful flare, but that is it. Everyone else is enjoying their radiation for the day with about a C2.5 being the lowest I've seen uh, as a constant flare baseline. Over to SDO, we're taking a look at, on the left at first, 193 angstroms. I've got to where the day starts here, slow speed, watch the clocks. But most of our activities can come from the far limb, and the last end flare should come from there. And we see all the flaring coming from the far end. We see what looks like a large filament eruption. Central disk wasn't recorded or assigned to one of those sunspot groups. Looked like a filament eruption to me. All right. Let's stop that one and move over to 171. Again, most of the activity will be happening over here on the far limb, AR3679. The last flare should come from this sunspot here, error 3689, and it looks like there's a large film eruption during the day as well. The day starting right now. Far limb should show lots of activity here. Again, I'm seeing activity from, look at that film eruption there, central disc. Far limb continues to flare. And to finish off the day, we see our M flare right there from our new sunspot, AR3689. Epic. All right. What we're looking at here is the backside of our sun. And these two big black blobs are headed around. We actually have four sunspot groups that will probably end up being closer to 12 sunspot groups based on their size. So we have 013 in turquoise, should already be named, but it has not been. Then we have 015, a sunspot we've already dealt with. We'll soon remember how dangerous and active it was. Followed by 017, another sunspot we've dealt with, and we'll probably soon realize or remember how active it was. And then we have 018 up here in maroon, also coming around. All right, this was taken at 11 a.m. this morning, SDO HMI magnetogram image, very, very recently. And these are the sunspot groups that appeared to have uh, flung a filament. We do see what looks like a reverse polarity sunspot with the white over the black here. This is black over white. This is AR3679 we've been dealing with all day. And believe it or not, this sunspot right here is going to be AR3689, which just produced an M1 flare. It should become much more complex in the days ahead. Over to Soho, 284 angstroms. We can't quite see this sunspot yet, but we do see the behemoth coming around already. It's going to be very active as it was during its last pass. It definitely held together and it's definitely grown in size. 
Of course, there's our new sunspot, AR3689, right here. And these are the sunspots that I just can't imagine are not active. Definitely looking earth-facing and active to me. This is our departing sunspot, AR3679, that's been giving us so much trouble. And these are other departing sunspot groups that have not been giving us any trouble. Finally, I want to let you guys know there's absolutely no space weather, solar winds, or plasma above normal levels hitting planet Earth currently, period. Uh, they do expect one of those sunspots, the large sunspot, to come around on the 23rd, the next one on the 26th, if you recall my update from yesterday or day before. So we have to get ready for a big uptick here. And to finish up, NASA actually modeled the M4.23 that occurred just at 200 UTC time, and they have it missing Earth completely. I believe that this geomagnetic connection you see in the white and black rope here will bring energy towards Earth, and we will be affected by that large flare. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. I have been hacked on Facebook. Please share my post on uh, Facebook. If my group, Space Weather News, is still there, please share it there. And if you see anyone impersonating me, it's a female, please report them to Facebook uh, as stealing my account, James Kaufman. God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.